Doreen Johnson, 26, is seen in the video lying face down on the pavement as he was following orders from a Fresno, California police officer His girlfriend, Gloria Bush, is heard screaming from the parking lot. Lavelle Johnson asked his nephew for a ride to the store so that he could purchase the latest iPhone, according to Fresno B. Bush said she dropped off her boyfriend and his uncle at the store just before noon and went to buy donuts and chocolate milk for the couple's two children. When she returned to the store, she was shocked by what she saw. All I saw was guns pointed at my baby's daddy, and he was on the ground, she said. Share this article, share. I didn't know if they had already shot him. I said, Tell me what's going on. I know he's a good man. I know he wasn't here with bad intentions. Vincent Lemer and his nephew accuse employees at the T Mobile store for racially profiling them. The officers were called to the area by the shopping center's security company who claimed there was a robbery in progress at the store. In the video, Dorian Johnson is heard telling Bush, calm down babe, let them do what they gotta do. The officers heard telling Johnson, keep coming. Although the video cuts out after police order Lemur to come out of the store with his hands up, the audio is still on. One officer is heard asking Johnson if he has a gun on him. Johnson says he doesn't. What are you guys doing in there? One officer asks. Just trying to get a new phone, Lemur replies. Bush is then told by the officers to stay back. Wait a second and we'll explain, okay, the officer says. We got called here, okay, we didn't just randomly show up here. Although the officers detained the two men, they were not arrested. Johnson and Lemur told the officers they had no plans to rob anyone. Johnson told the officers that he was wearing his work ID badge around his neck, which means it would be easier for people to identify him, making him an unlikely candidate to commit a robbery. Lemur said he had given the store his ID because he wanted to get a credit check in order to give a down payment for a new phone. Both men said they victims of racial profiling. I don't see what made them call and what would have given them the suspicion that they were going to get robbed. We weren't up to anything, Johnson said. It's just crazy. I don't understand. Nobody not once came and apologized for what happened. Johnson said the incident reminded him of recent cases where police were called to stores because people were suspicious of black patrons. Starbucks recently closed all of its American locations so that its employees would be given racial sensitivity training in the wake of an incident where police were called on two black men sitting at a table. I was just watching videos about that stuff the other day. To be in the same situation myself, it just scared the expletive out of me, an emotional Johnson told the bee. Every time I think about it, I get teary-eyed. It was the day before my three-year-old daughter's birthday. On Facebook, Lima wrote, this was racial profiling at its finest prejudice in its precipice. And T-Mobile should do something about this highly uncalled for but totally avoidable misunderstanding. T-Mobile released a statement about the incident which read, the safety and comfort of our customers, our TPR dealers and their employees is paramount to us. We are taking this incident very seriously 
and are actively investigating to determine exactly what occurred. Though we have found no evidence that the employees acted improperly, we would take definitive action if we did.